Hi, welcome back. Show number 29. You need to put in your first and last name. Click the button for whichever period you're in and then click next. Today's journal question is a life science flashback. So I wanted you to label and describe the phases of mitosis, but normally if we were doing this journal, I would have you draw the phases of mitosis and just write down some key words. Um, but I haven't figured out a way to get y'all to draw for these journals that I can see in grade. So what I asked for for the 10 points is descriptions, um, but I highly, highly recommend drawing some simple versions of the phases of mitosis. So the first thing to remember, and uh, this would have been something that Ms. Fahrenholt and Ms. Hayes would have talked to y'all about last year if y'all had had that opportunity, and that's IP on the mat. What? IP on the mat? Yeah, IP on the mat. Hang on. Okay, so here's my little drawing of the cell cycle. So a cell <coughs> goes through this cycle of life. A cell, when it's in interphase, is just a cell being a cell. So when a cell's in interphase, a heart cell's being a heart cell, lung cell's being a lung cell, bone cell's being a bone cell, cell's just doing its job. But when it gets down here into mitosis, that's when the cell copies itself. Mitosis is responsible for growth. How do you think you got from being a little ball of cells to being the size you are now, right? Mitosis is what copied your muscle cells and made more muscle, copied more bone cells and made more bone so that you could grow. Mitosis is also responsible for healing. So when you cut yourself and you have to, your body has to make new cells to sew up that, that cut in your arm, that's mitosis. So a healthy cell spends most of its time in interphase and then, the, and then a tiny little bit in mitosis. And so the IP on the mat, the I and IP on the mat is interphase, okay? Interphase. Now, really quickly, just to learn a little something, because Ms. Harris likes to teach a little more than she actually has to, because that's how I, I do. A cell that is cancerous. So a cell that is, has, is, is cancerous and is uh, making a, a tumor. It goes through mitosis way more often than it's supposed to. So where a healthy cell only goes through mitosis this one time down here, a cancerous cell goes mitosis, 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 and that's where the tumor comes from. It's that cell copying itself over and over and over again when it's not needed, and so you end up with this ball of extra cells, this tumor. So chemotherapy and radiation both take, it, both take advantage of the fact that healthy cells are only in mitosis for a short time and that cancer cells are in mitosis a lot. Chemotherapy and radiation both kill cells that are in mitosis. That's how chemotherapy and radiation work. They kill cells that are in mitosis. Now, that means you're going to kill some healthy cells because, you know, the odds are you're going to have some healthy cells that are in their mitosis stage, even though they don't have all these other mitosis stages. So those do die. And that's one of the reasons why your immune system gets compromised when you're having chemo and radiation. But the great thing about it is when you have most of your cells that are healthy cells aren't in mitosis, it only kills your cancer cells and that helps you out. Now, one of the reasons why people often lose their hair when they're having chemotherapy and radiation is because your hair cells, the cells where your hair grows from, are often in mitosis because your hair is growing. So those cells end up being killed by the process and then that you, you lose your hair. Okay, one more thing. Okay, so I had a little bit of a scene change because uh, I got a new computer set up. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. But I had started filming on this, so I've got to finish on this. So we were talking about IP on the mat, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So IP mat just helps you remember the order, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And then I recommended that you draw your own. So if you're making notes and drawing on your own, this is what you should draw. So interphase is when all of the DNA material is in the nucleus and there's nothing fancy going on. The cell is just living its best life being a cell. In prophase, that's when the DNA has, the DNA copies itself at the end of interphase, right before prophase. And then as it enters into prophase, the nuclear envelope dissolves and we have two copies of or, you know, we have two sets of every piece of every chromosome. So every chromosome has copied itself. So instead of just one 
uh, like greater than or less than sign, we have an X because there's two copies. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the middle. Okay, so metaphase middle. Anaphase apart. So during anaphase, the chromosomes pull apart. And I actually should have put a second set in there because we did two chromosomes all along, right? So there should be two in that one too. So there should be two on this side and two on that side. And then same here, two and two. And then in telophase is when it's pulling apart. And as the end of telophase happens and it starts to go into interphase, this will completely seal up and we'll have two separate cells and the nuclear membrane will reform and we'll have two separate nuclei. So IP on the mat, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Prophase is when the nuclear membrane dissolves. Metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the middle. Anaphase, they pull apart. And telophase is when it splits into twins, when it duplicates itself into two, when we have two cells. Okay, so my answer, IP mat. Interphase is the cell doing its job. The phases of mitosis where the cell splits into two cells, where the cell copies itself, got to copy itself first, copies itself, and then splits into two cells are prophase, and in prophase, that's where the nuclear membrane dissolves around the copied chromosomes. Then metaphase, where the chromosomes line up in the middle. Then anaphase, where the two copies get pulled apart to opposite ends of the cell and last telophase where the cell splits into twins two copies two identical copies of the parent cell all right you may mostly put that into your own words i'm a little wordy there but not so much to label and describe, you need interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, interphase cell doing its job, prophase dissolved, uh, nuclear membrane, metaphase middle, anaphase apart, telophase twins. At least get that much. All right. Have a lovely day. Bye.